Alright. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Commenting. Uh, I was pretty tired last night. I didn't record anything last night. But hopefully we can Yeah, I've been hopefully we can make some headway here and get a lot of stuff done cuz off the rest of the night and do not work. I gotta wash my glasses real quick. Do not work tomorrow. Uh, however, I did get both of my scooters back from the shop, so and it became sunny out again. So I might want to go on a uh, some kind of ride at some point in time. We'll see though. I don't know how. Uh, if I'm happy or paranoid or not know what's going on. The one I got, uh, one of them is a Benelli Zafferano. I was replacing the, uh, V-belt on that. And then front brake pads. Tires. Uh, got it, got it back. Road, road fine, feels fine, but I was hearing some rubbing in the front end. And then when I went to go check my tire pressure, I wasn't getting any kind of accurate readings. It looked like at first it was really high. Uh, but they were telling me, like, my other scooter had low pressure coming in and uneven wear. Like, I usually check my pressure every couple days because... I'm notorious for being horrendous at never checking them in a car, but in a motorcycle, it's, I feel it's a little more important. Will you get out, idiot? Get out of the way, dog. I feel like it's a little more important because if something goes awry, uh, that's kind of just you and the motorcycle, not the huge steel cage around you. So I try to be more careful. So, I mean, I thought I'd been doing good for years with this Benelli that it had, but apparently maybe my uh, gauge broke or something. Now I'm having kind of a hell of a time trying to check it. I went out and bought a diff couple different air pressure gauges and another pump and everything. Uh, so anyway, I brought that one back. Like I had rode my other scooter, my Yamaha T-Max down when I went to pick it up. So then ended up bringing the Benelli back and they had both of them. He was saying it was probably just like a stuck little, like stuck valve stem. Ended up looks, there was stuck little pin in the valve stem. Looks like he changed the whole entire, he put whole new valve stems in there. And they did fix my exhaust that I had noticed it came off attached at the engine. Uh, so I mean, I don't know, I'm hoping it's paranoia. It's just like the, I'm hearing the noise when I'm like coasting up to a light. And it seems mostly like when I go to let go of my brake lever, like I hear it. So maybe it's the brake pads rubbing or wearing down or something, but I've already spent money and I really don't feel like taking it over there. It's a ways away. Uh, then this, the Yamaha I got. Uh, it's a pretty bad scooter, but I was putting a V-belt on that, and then they, like, flushed the brake fluid and put new rear brake pads, and same thing when I took a real quick test drive, like, it felt okay, but then on the way home, it seems to be, like, revving out a lot, like, almost like it shouldn't. Like the belt slipping or clutch slipping or something going on, it's going on, but... Kind of, I don't like to ask for help. I don't like to return things. I don't want to have to take this thing back a second time, like especially when they have it forever and I want to ride, so it's annoying. So, you know, not like I already told you, I got electricity in half my house. So, enough about my sad life. Uh, uh, gonna play this and then, uh, I think this is the last, this should be the last bit of wood from around the farm. Dump 
check see if I didn't miss anything but yeah I didn't make too much money or not making too much money from these trees so we're gonna have to don't have any money to lease some kind of big big tree harvester that one of the ponds is and Cutting stuff by down, cutting stuff down by hand again. After we sell this, if we don't tip over. Always try and do it smarter this time, though, and cut off the street the tree stumps immediately instead of trying to go back and find them. This is still always scary going across here. I probably could go, I should go slow, but Oh boy. For example, for reasons like that. It's like you're just riding on the top of a berm. Yay! Yeah, at some, some point we'll have to rescue the boat too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn into a boat in a minute. Fall off the bridge. Totally looking out at the lake. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get away from this one. You can do it. Uh oh. Do we want to try and bring another truck over here to push them over, or, or reset them to shop and lose all the wood? Oh man! Show me what you got at 250. Well, this is an entertaining beginning. <laughs> oh yeah, I said we gotta get chickens too, so we probably should get some chickens. It's not like we've made any money today, so that's what we'll do after we we'll, after we hopefully rescue this guy, and we'll probably go buy some chickens and then. Start staging up the uh, next field. I gotta start paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm looking around, looking at the time, how long the video's been rolling. Try and get better at that so I'm not jabbering up till the very end.
Let's hope this works. It's not like that wood's probably worth a lot, but it's probably a thousand dollars or so at least in wood. <coughs> That's valuable money. Or either okay, I got it. Either way, this is gonna work. Cause either the easy way, we're just gonna flip over the Ute and drive him over to the shop, or we'll have to do it the hard way and release the tension belts and just load it all into the truck and drive it over to the sawmill that's ten feet away. <laughs> So hopefully we can just push this thing over. I might be able to just. What if I can just push them straight to the sawmill? <laughs> Banzai. Okay, or you can just glitch through the wood, that's fine. That works too. And then we can just set then we can just reset the youth back to the shop, no harm done. <laughs> this is going to take much less time than reloading it into the truck. Maybe. Getting <laughs> a little off target here. Be good enough. All right. Haha. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Excellent. Let's still at least try and push him over. I don't know which way the shop is closer. If this is closer, so. Yeah, so you might be able to use that wood to my advantage. Thought I was gonna be able to. Haha. <laughs> Perfect. Alright then. No harm done. So now let's just get these guys back to the uh, uh this guy. Actually this now the more I think about it, this, this thing is cool, but to save space on my mods, this might be one of the youths I might have to uh it's actually We're gonna do something else. Change your plans folks. I'm going to do it right now because just, I don't know why, but it annoys the hell out of me that, that this thing can't have a, uh, like a grain, an actual bed that can hold grain. For whatever reason, that's just asinine to me. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of it. And we're going to get my other fit, the JCB one probably. Cause so let's transfer him back to the shop so I don't have to drive there. And then, and then, we'll come back to you, I promise, after you finish this video. Now, 
Stevens was, does screw me, and I was using him to cultivate last episode, but we'll just have to use a smaller tractor that we have or something. Whoa. I guess I don't care if I crash this thing because we're getting rid of it. So. This should make us some money. So I sold $700 on wood, like, when I was spending the night the other night, the other day, so we should have, whatever, that was 1600 plus 700 so... 2300-ish. Yeah, so just about $2,300 in wood. We've That's how much we're up, basically, I guess. So, sell this guy for fourteen six forty one. it looks like. Yes. Yes, I want to sell him. And then... Let's get something better. And I just downloaded the F2, the F350 and the, uh, the Beetle. So, like any of these, like the Mahindra's better and like, uh, I, I like the JCB one. So there's the Beetle. Because this one can, yeah, see this one still holds a thousand liters. And now they got this John Deere one, but... cheaper just to buy the JCB because it already comes with the it already comes with the bed and that's like same thing with this this thing this bed should hold grain but it doesn't unless I have yeah no this doesn't hold anything some of those things the file size and some of those are so small it's like I haven't bothered to delete them so, anyway, let's get the, yeah, let's stick with the JCB. And design two, it's got the, yeah, it's got the bull bar on the front there. So, that's pretty much a wash. Oh, shoot, can this thing, yeah, this thing can pull trailers. Should be able to. Yep. And it holds a thousand liters, so. <clears throat> it, might even, it might even go faster, too. And I can still put small wood in there if I want to, so. I need to pay attention to the slot counts, but I imagine this is a lower slot count too. So, the drive back from the shop again. Actually, I think there is supposed to be gold bars over here. I know there's supposed to be gold bars over here somewhere, but... I don't think I have, like, I know... I think they just... Release some map where they all are, and I think D DJ Goham did a video on finding them and all. But I skipped that video. Maybe one day, but I don't feel like watching it now. I want to just stumble across these bars. Well, I know there's one, one or two in the bear cave, wherever that is. And I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's one, like, on the way going up this hill. After we, whatever, make this turn and... It's probably some over by that old truck. Whoa! <laughs> that was... That was a little nuts. Take a look real quick. No go bars in the truck. Nothing there. Alright. Whoa. If he can even make it up the hill. I 
guess that would be the downfall of this one. It is main purpose on most my like well that barely fits. His main purpose on most all my farms is is mainly the animal type guy to like feed the chickens or top off the cows or sheep or whatever. video of buying some chickens. Coming up on time and we're not going to have enough time to drive the F-250 back to and set up the trailers and stump grinder and all that stuff so. Oh yeah. Well first I gotta go to the silo but duh. I'm gonna have to clean that up immediately. Good thing I have to all this. I'm gonna have to get a front loader and scoop all that stuff up. I mean, it's looks like it's free grains and seeds to me and stuff. Lime across the way. Uh, I usually, yeah, I usually give them wheat anyway. Even though wheat's worth more, I usually feed the chickens wheat. So. Simple as that, this thing holds grain. And we shouldn't need water or any of that stuff, so. Let's see here. That's where we're gonna feed them. Oops. That's probably where the eggs pop up. Yeah, because the animal dialogue's not coming up. So where is the animal dialogue? Is that a light switch? Nope. Not sure you can turn on at least. Oh, that looks like one though. Get said chickens. I want some chickens. Where do I get my chicken? Uh huh. See, look. look. How do I get in there, though? I usually start off with like two of each. So, there we go. Confirm. We now got chickens. And I know, like, these are supposed to be, pretty sure these are supposed to be fake eggs. Yeah, so you can't pick up those eggs. This is pretty cool, though. Light switch? Yes. Let there be light. Chickens gotta stay warm, right? Alright, well, thank you everyone. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I'm gonna, let's real quick, real quick, check chickens. Okay, well, it's not saying anything for cleanliness or food. Wait a minute. Okay, right, because we haven't fed him an idiot. <laughs> I got the food, but. Take all of it. Yep. So, okay, 
food's full. It's saying cleanliness zero percent though, so I bet you we are supposed to. Uh, I bet you I do need to clean up all that nonsense. So that'll be the end of this one though, because otherwise we're gonna be, like I said, we'll be in the middle of something. So I shall see you in a minute.